Hello, Zany friends. I am Marshall. And I am Lainey. And this is our October collection. We are doing um, basically what you would do in October, which is fall, Halloween. Fall, Halloween movies that are, you know, kind of old. And we're going to bring them back from the dead. Older. Older. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Older. We have a lot of things to go through in this video, uh, as well as uh, another video which will have everything that is going to be on sale during the month of October that we are bringing back. So sit tight, join us. So this is about a bunch of different movies that are a little on the older side. Again, uh, not like black and whites, but we're talking about movies that are we remember from when we were young mm -hmm. um, being Halloween movies um, or miniseries, but some of them became movies. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So let's start with our first one. Um, the first scent that we have this month is called Basic Witches. It is uh, inspired by Practical Magic, which is actually funny enough. Um, we had been planning on doing this for quite some time, and this month, actually in the month of September, I watched Practical Magic twice and read the book, uh, mm -hmm. basically because we needed to watch the movie for source material. Mm -hmm for your stuff. Yeah. And then my husband, the movie buff, declared that he had never seen the movie. And I was like, all right, we're watching it. So we watched it again. And then the Paper and Glam book club, I usually like to follow along and do whatever book they're reading for the book club. And so for October, it was Practical Magic. So I decided I would read it a month ahead of time. And I did. And it was very different than the movie, actually. But it was very enjoyable as well. So Basic Witches. This thing smells like pumpkin, spice, everything. Now that's basically mm. what we're saying on there because we realized we didn't really have a pumpkin spice. I mean, we do have pumpkin pasties. That is a pumpkin... With some cinnamon with some in cinnamon. there. But, this but is, that one's got more bakery to it. Yes. This one is much more of the pumpkin spicy. Very pumpkin spicy. Yeah. Um, you can get this in both a spray and a wax this month, um, but it does have cinnamon in it, so you cannot get it in a scrub. No. Let's talk about the art. Uh, so here we have the two older sisters, not the old... There's a lot of sisters in this in this movie, but the older the aunts. The aunts, yeah. Um, and they are currently doing their uh, margaritas. Which, which Midnight margaritas! Midnight margaritas. Um, yes, this has nothing to do with margaritas in the scent, but that is what they did all the time. Um, and so we have Ravenna and Roxy as those two sisters. Yeah. Um, the reason why we had it smell like pumpkin was just because it just seemed appropriate for the actual movie. I mean, there's yeah. nothing in the movie or the book that says pumpkin. But to me, you know, it's witches, it's pumpkins. But at the same time, you get to the end, big spoilers, you get to the end of the movie and not only do they more embrace themselves, all of the characters just embrace themselves more, mm -hmm. but the town embraces them more. And they become the like their town's staple attraction almost for Halloween. So in a way, we're kind of bringing it in like it's mm. it's the staples of Halloween. Mm -hmm. As far as the smell goes, oh my gosh, you guys! If you like good. pumpkin spice, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. We've been experimenting with stuff, mm -hmm. stuff maybe if you're good um, but we're experimenting with stuff so our kitchen now smells just like this scent and it is primo it is awesome i love this scent so much it's good uh, yes our next scent is called anticipation Patient. which is of course inspired by rocky horror my reps helped me decide what name we were going to give this scent uh, we basically had a little challenge for them and we said name the scent so they gave me three different options and this is the one that we chose. Um, the set notes are apple pie, cinnamon, and orange. Of course, again, another one with cinnamon, so no scrubs for you, but it is available in a spray and a wax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, at first you really have that apple pie coming mm -hmm. forward, but mm -hmm. then like the cinnamon and the orange comes in in that order, it feels like, right after. It really does. And it, it's, it's an interesting twist. Mm, yeah. Yes. Uh, as far as the art goes, uh, this actually has a couple of different variants. Uh, you've got Hershey as Dr. Frankenfurter, and then you have uh, you have Colada as Columbia. 
And that was actually kind of fun to do, although mm -hmm. although I was never expecting to ever have Hershey in this outfit. It just feels a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Our next scent is called Station. Station! Which of course is inspired by Bill and Ted. And uh, so not only was this a movie that we watched a lot when we were growing up, but you know, working Universal, they had the Bill and Ted show. So we thought, okay, yeah, this is a really good Halloween thing. Um, the scent is Acorns, Marshmallow, and Woods. If you have ever smelled the Bath and Body Work candle, like Marshmallow Woods or something like that, this is supposed to smell very similar to that. Um, I don't, I, I have only smelled that candle a couple times, so I can't fully, fully say it, but I tried to match it. And let me tell you, the marshmallow in here... It really comes forward. So good. And now, so why did we decide to go with that? For Bill and Ted. Uh, first off, the uh, the time when they go back medieval to the medieval period and they're in the woods and that Boy, kind of thing. Dudes. Yeah, exactly the real ugly dudes. <laughs> um, but the marshmallow is also for like okay, there is a scene I think where they're so in one of the scenes they have actually like while they're trying to escape from something, a Hun hits the antenna mm -hmm. on the top of their time travel phone booth. And that caused them to go into weird places. So they have to make a pit stop and try and fix the antenna using gum. And I think marshmallows. Yeah. They also use marshmallows. And a bunch so, of So a bunch of other things in there. So we thought, okay, well, the marshmallows and, you know, the woods and that kind of thing. Quite honestly, we there were so many things in this we could have... We could have actually picked to go with this scent, um, there, but the thing was, we just wanted to use the scent combination in something, and it seemed appropriate for this. There's a lot of marshmallow in here, but there's also some really nice, like woodsy tones. This would make, I think, the, the wax melt is amazing. On the wax melt is great. I mean, come on, get over here. Smell that. <laughs> exactly. Right. So for the artwork, we have Zane and Orlando. Orlando is clean shaven here, uh, as Bill and Ted, um, and they're doing their famous stance. Um, but also, if you look really closely, um, the, the shirts that they're wearing are wild stallion shirts uh, with Spark Chaser's face on them. Uh, great thing is, you don't just have the uh, spray and the wax for this one this month, we've also got roll-ons and scrubs. So the roll-ons we did talk about in a previous video, but the roll-ons are uh, basically a fragrance oil along with apricot kernel oil and uh, what is the other thing? Sweet almond oil. So when we are using that in there, it's really going to moisturize. It's not just good for like just a roll-on perfume. It really is meant to be more of like an oil for you to use on dry areas of your hands and body. Uh, just to give you some extra hydration moisturization. I have been using it a, a, really as a cuticle oil on my hands oh. and it's really it's nice It's been helping I have eczema so sometimes like I'll put it on like just really bad dry spots and that will help as well So don't think of it as just a perfume. It is actually a multitasker um, It might not last as long as you think other perfume rollerballs are because this is a fragrance oil It is not a perfume essence. Okay, the, please keep that in mind. It is a fragrance infused oil yeah. so that is the difference about it um but i don't mind reapplying these things because i'm getting the extra hydration when i do so station yes you can get it in four different ways this month and i'm excited that for that scent i love it okay our next scent for the month of october is called in for a penny and of course it is inspired by it mm -hmm. and it too really i mean that came up this year uh, the scent notes are peppermint, chocolate, and cinnamon bread. Sorry guys, cinnamon one more time. Um, in our spray and the wax is the way that you'll be able to get this. But, I mean, yeah, really, really when you get down to it, we're in October, November, December, that arena. It's the cinnamental time of year. Cinnamental. <laughs> uh, you know, so yep. you're going to have to deal with a lot of cinnamon and a lot of mint in the next coming months. Yeah. So but, this, yeah. Uh, yeah, that peppermint and the chocolate really kind of combine together to make a nice scent. But the cinnamon bread, mm -hmm. it makes it something else. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, the peppermint is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of clears out my nose. But then after the peppermint, you kind of get this like mellow. like mellow at the end. It's really super interesting. Yeah. 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 
All right, tell us about this art. Well, this is uh, Waldo being his normal creepy self uh, as Pennywise uh, holding a balloon. Um, I did not think that having the, the truly white face would work for Waldo uh, because he's got the white eyes, but given that shadow around it, it uh, you can definitely see his eyes. It works very well, I yeah. think. And he's just a creeper. Even when he's cute, he's a creeper. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So our very special scent this month, uh, for the month of October, is called Strength and Dignity. So a little bit of background before we show you this scent. Um, October is my birthday month, and it is also cancer awareness. Um, I think it's specifically breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. um, so because of that, we wanted to do something special, um, especially because I am a cancer survivor. I am almost one year cancer free. Uh, so we wanted to do a special cancer scent uh, where we would give proceeds from it to the American Cancer Society. Um, we asked one of our reps if she wouldn't mind helping us with this as she had a friend that also uh, had cancer as well. And so she helped us come up with this scent, which is based on, what did we say, Princess Daisy? Yeah, this is Princess Daisy from Super Mario Brothers. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's a lot of people that aren't into Mario don't know that there's a whole bunch of princesses, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have the one that's the main one, Princess Peach. Um, but then in the Game Boy offshoot, they came up with Princess Daisy. Mm -hmm. And she's more sporty, more tomboyish. Um, very competitive, but and that's where the strength comes from. But she's still definitely a princess. Mm -hmm. The the scent notes are rain, daisies, and berries. Um, so I will tell you, if you like flowery scents, you will love this. This is not my kind of scent at all. No. Um, in fact, when whenever I smell this scent, I actually have a little bit of a headache. Um, but it is very fresh and floral. So if you like that kind of thing you will like this a lot. We do have two variant artwork yes. as well, right? Because um, if you go through some of those games, there's a bunch of different outfits that the characters wear, and in one version, you have Ravenna as Daisy in her dress, the mm. common dress. In the other one, that's her tennis outfit um, that she wears for a lot of those tennis shows. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get this in a spray, a scrub, and of course the roll on as well. Um, and again, you guys like, we are gonna put a dollar from every product that we sell of this during the month of October. We are going to give a dollar to the American Cancer Society uh, for cancer research. So uh, if you wanna get this, October is the time to jump on over to the site and get the scent. So the creative set for this month is based on Maleficent. Um, there is a Maleficent movie either coming out or has already, I don't know, I didn't really Pay attention Mal Maleficent 2, Mistress of Evil. Oh, that's what it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had this scent that was submitted by our friend Zelma, and she calls it Mal Fairy, which is French for... Bad fairy. Yes. The scent notes are blackberries, apples, and sage, and let me tell you, this is amazeball. This, this is a pretty good scent. I, I was really, like, the blackberries really get you. Mm -hmm. uh, I could smell that while we were doing a lot of the mm -hmm. production. Yeah, for sure. Um, I really love the, this. This might be my favorite scent this month. That's saying a lot. <laughs> this might be my favorite scent this month. Because I really like the fruity ones mm -hmm. more. Um, but you can get this in all four ways. Spray, scrub, and roll-on, and wax as well in the month of October. <laughs> Remember, wax is only for October. Everything else you can get other times. Yeah. Let's talk about the art. So this is kind of the month of Ravenna in a weird way. Um, so we have Ravenna as uh, Maleficent, but it's the Maleficent outfit that we see in the most recent movie. So she's got a whole bunch of skulls and bones that are kind of all over the place on this black outfit. It was requested by Zelma to uh, actually make sure that Ravenna's hair showed, even though uh, Maleficent's hair does not show in this outfit. Mm. She's just like, we gotta rock that purple hair. So we rocked that purple hair. <laughs> and our next scent, which is actually a commission scent, was also done by Zelma. Mm -hmm. And it is called Spicy Snowflake. We do not have a scrub or anything for it because I believe it also does have cinnamon in it. But mm -hmm. these scent notes are vanilla, chili, and orange. And if you guys remember a lot earlier, I think earlier this year, yes, yeah. 
we did a My Hero Academia scent. We had done Can Do, which is based off of Deku from My Hero Academia. And so we've gotten another character from the same show. Um, these are characters that have a lot of like trauma in their backstory. And mm. this guy, he's probably got the saddest story of them all, in my opinion. Um, but he has these two special powers. And in one hand, he can create ice. And in the other hand, he can create fire. And his dad is like an overachiever who's trying to push him to be better. It's... Just watch the show, it's good stuff. But, um, because of that, we have this scent here that is vanilla, chili, and orange. And so the vanilla kind of represents his ice powers, chili representing the fire, but then the orange is kind of this element within him that Deku has started to drive into him of mm. be your own person. Don't be who your dad wants you to be. Yeah. You are your own. I think that this was actually suggested by Zelma's daughter, mm -hmm. Lissa. Um, but I, I'm glad that we can put another one with our My Hero Academia because it is a very popular theme. Mm -hmm. When we go to cons, people do ask about it, depending on which con we go to, yeah. they do ask about it. Um, so as far as the art goes, how did you determine that? Uh, she had actually, she's just like, I want to see somebody dressed up as Todoroki, Shoto Todoroki. Um, and I'm like, well, that sounds more like it's Zane, like from the way that the way that the character is to get all that kind of detail in there. Mm -hmm. And so you can see the, the burn on his face given to him by his father. Right. Um, and then his two-toned hair. Um, and the uniform that they wear. Um, you don't often see him make a little snowflake, um, but he's just got to represent them there. For our next scent, we have been bringing a couple more Stranger Things back. Uh, so this month and next month, you're going to have two new Stranger Things scent. I am, of course, wearing one of my uh, shirts that I got from Horror Nights for Stranger Things. But uh, this scent, we are calling it, well, it is called Unsung Hero. It was actually made and created by a group of my reps when we asked them, what should this smell like? And they gave me some ideas, and we thought, this one is great. Um, it is smoke, whiskey, and maple syrup and it is based on hopper from uh stranger things now this one i actually like it but i believe it is more of the masculine it, it does is. smell like what i think you would smell like you, on the top note you do get that smoke the Got fire the smoke. smoke yeah um but then like right under that you've got this whiskey that blends with the maple syrup and that kind of does describe his entire character mm -hmm. as his whole life burned up and he kind of has a little bit of an addiction problem when you first meet him yeah but then when you start peeling away all of that you get into something that's just warm and loving yeah and when you look at this artwork this is him from season three so he's wearing the magnum pi outfit he's got the cut on his his uh, temple there um and break out your magnifying glass people look really close at that note in his hand because that is the note that he wrote in the episodes and it's it contains almost every word the words that you can't read are just hold, hidden by the folds interesting it is it, it's all the words are there I worked hard at that. Our last scent for the month of October that is new is Killer Cupcake. It was created by uh, my friend Lynn, and it is the signature scent for our mascot, Roxy. Um, Roxy was, of course, first premiered in the Woogity Woogity uh, scent from Rocket Power, and uh, named, I believe, by my friend Meg. She was the one who submitted the name for her, and then we needed to create a scent. So this scent is red velvet cake, cream cheese, and chocolate. So it's basically... Mm -hmm. Just bakery it's, red velvet goodness. It's like a red velvet cheesecake. Mm. It really is. It's I, and I love that smell. Like this is, this is this is the stuff. This is my other uh, favorite scent for this month. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe some other month you should totally vote for this to become one of our waxes because ooh yeah. Yeah. So you can get this in the spray, scrub, and the uh, roll-on, but not the wax this month. But it is super good. Do you want to talk about her outfit? 
So, uh, as far as Roxy's outfit, her standard outfit, it is much like the other girls. She's got a light pink version of the outfit with a little bit more of a lavender to it. Mm -hmm. um, and you can finally see her, her normal hair because every other time we've seen her, she's been wearing a wig. Um, so she's got this really short cropped black hair. For the uh, month of October, you are also able to get two waxes from our past library collection. And these are voted on inside the group. And if you're interested in doing the ones for November, go on over to the group in the pinned uh, posts at the top of the page. You're going to see a poll and it will have all of the scents that are going to be available for uh, the November uh, waxes that mm -hmm. we're going to have. So this month we're doing two. Them's My Jewels. And Chocolate Frog. So Them Is My Jewels was originally created by my friend Meg based on Labyrinth um, and, it, and it has a new art which we will talk about in the next video so you're going to have to go over there. But it smells like woods, acorn, and peaches. So it's kind of like Station but with peaches, Instead not of marshmallows. marshmallows. And it is really good. It, it's almost like walking through a peach, uh, an acorn tree. Orchard. Orchard. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Yeah. What about yours? Well, well, chocolate frog. We this is a one of our classic scents, and yeah, we. In case you haven't seen it before, we've got Jelly on there, mm -hmm. uh, and she is as a Hufflepuff student um, with a specialty wand. But as far as the scent goes, yeah, it, it's it's what everybody says. It's that's a chocolate frog. There's something different. It's not just chocolate, but there's something there. And that would be blueberry. Mm -hmm. So we have this this blueberry oil that we also put in it, which really makes the chocolate not smell fake. Yeah. It makes it smell more like chocolate, which is weird because it's blueberry, but it totally, totally works. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that's what one of our problems with you, know, you go for just a, a straight up chocolate is that it just comes off more like Tootsie Roll. Yes. Nobody likes Tootsie Rolls. Nobody likes that. One of the things we did want to talk about was uh, some of our new new things that we are testing. You've already seen our roll on, but this little thing right here is going to eventually be maybe a car scent. So we are testing this. Um, we just basically baked it a little while ago and they are aroma beads. This scent is the basic witch's pumpkin scent, um, but you would just hang this from your rearview mirror. Yeah. We've been trying for a while now to try different ways to get something into the car. To make mm -hmm. it so that you can smell up your car in a good way without having to burn anything, without having any mess. And this was something we found, um, like this technique. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying it with our own stuff and seeing yeah. how well it works. Uh, so who knows, you might actually see us do this um, as a product. Okay. Um, if so, it would be kind of like one of our waxes where we don't really produce all the scents in this would do a couple. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if you are looking for our party, we are doing a party week uh, the end of October. Go ahead and see that information in our group. And if you are interested in maybe like live sales, we might be doing that as well on Facebook, in the group, and on our Instagram. So make sure you are looking at that below. But that is pretty much everything for the month of October. Make sure you are subscribed so you see the other video, which is all the sense we are bringing back. But until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.